don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Is your sword style self-taught? Yep. Your grip, swing, and focus need work. But otherwise, it's okay. Is that a compliment? Of course not. No, it is. Huh? Here it comes. What is it, Edna? It's my turn now, right? Oh boy, I am so excited for this. What? Uh... Well, that was unexpected. Oh no, that must be the Minotauros. That's right! And with him standing guard there, we're all in a real bind. The Shepherd Pawan? Lady Lila! You're as lovely as ever. And you're as creepy as ever. This Seraph was also once a shepherd? That's right. Depending on how you die, you can transcend your own race. Strange world we live in. Strange world, sure. But we'll never get to the altar with that thing in the way. <gasps> huh? You're here for the shepherd's power, right? You're gonna take the trial, right? Right? Well, uh... So she's not the shepherd, then? Are you sure this creeper used to be a shepherd? Grating though he may be, the shepherd Pawan is renowned amongst all the Seraphim for having quelled over 10,000 Hellions. <laughs> Seriously? You mean this dirtbag? Hey, mister. Edna's so lonely. She could use a big hug. Well, aren't you a precious little thing. Your name is Edna? Oh, please, mister. Edna's so cold. Oh, but, but there's a trial, you see. We need to get to the altar and... <sighs> Useless. Huh? Is that all you can think about? The trial? I mean, the Shepherd is here for the trial, and... So you can't get to your altar with that oversized steak face in the way, and so you want me to do something about it. Is that it? Well, uh, more precisely... Wait! Edna! It's too dangerous! Scram. Get out of my face! Now we just walk to the altar? Actually, uh, the trial is to quell the Minotauros. Huh? But it ran off somewhere! Turns out it was a scaredy bull. I imagine it'll turn tail at the first sign of us now. Right. Well, why didn't you say so? You stupid or something? I'm sorry. Well, fine. Whatever. You just go on ahead to the altar. We'll track down that bull Hellion and quell it. Okay.
All right, let's get this show on the road. Edna, you're actually disappointed, aren't you? Let's get this show on the road. Don't get too scared. That was pretty good, Shorty. Being big is for losers. Big losers. Kids crying. It isn't unthinkable. Don't worry, I'm gonna save you! Right. Liberation from malevolence will save these children. For scaring you. Goodbye. Rest in peace. Edna. Wait, did the spirits of the children turn to Seraphim? Dunno. Let's move on to the altar. Pawan is waiting for us. Yeah. Roger. Ignorance is unforgivable. I finally understand. Oh, Edna. Even if it's a pain, I'll never take the easy way out again. Though it totally is a pain. <laughs> That's the Edna I know. Ready. Don't be fooled by their looks, the powerful spellcasters. Trust me, I know the small ones are the most trouble. Yeah! 
Grown-ups are really like. Yeah, sounds like something a brat would say.
to choose means you're a short fuse type. That's fortune telling?
Pushovers, either. Is that a monolith? Snacks are done. Sense the ancient tongue. We're near one.
the Minotauros was born from the spirits of children. Hard to wrap my head around it. What could those kids have been doing in a place like this? Ever since the Age of Chaos began, more and more Hellions have been pitiable types like that one. You don't say. They must have been children whose parents didn't want them. You mean they were abandoned children? That's probably what this place is for, to most people in the area. A gruesome tradition indeed. The parents could disavow their own flesh and blood like that. It's unconscionable. Even though we weren't his own flesh and blood, Gramps still took us in and raised us as his own. Yeah, it's hard to even think about. Hey, come on! Buck up! That's right. You saved them in the end, didn't you? You did something good in the world. Yeah. It's gotten into you, Edna. You're being... nice. It's not like I can't admit when I'm wrong, you know. Unlike some people, I'm an adult. Is that a fact? <sighs> it's so hot again! It truly is. I think I'm gonna get sunburned. Edna, do you use your umbrella for protection from the sun? As you can see. Do Seraphim get sunburned too? I guess it makes sense since Edna has really fair skin. Edna's umbrella can be used to avoid the sunlight as well as rain. It can even be used to push back the Hellions. Oh wow! So it's like killing three birds with one stone! Not quite. It's also her signature item, so it's more like killing four birds with one stone. If that's true, then really it's like killing five birds with one stone since she has a cute mascot character attached to it. And, and, it's also something she can change depending on her mood, so that's actually six- I'm like Cinderella with an umbrella. I must say, that was a good one. Not to mention a lot of dead birds with one stone.